KWTX News 10. Thank you, Brendan. A former Baylor standout accused of rape is back home tonight. Jurors returned a not guilty verdict earlier this afternoon for Sean Oakman. News 10's John Carroll has been following the trial all week, and he joins us now live with the latest. John? Well, I can just simply tell you, Justin, that a couple of weeks before the NFL draft in 2016, Sean Oakman was expected to go in the first round. He was then charged with sexual assault. That's three years ago he has been going through this. And in the last two days of testimony in the Waco courtroom, then a jury deliberated for about two hours and returned a not guilty verdict of sexual assault for Sean Oakman. We were the first ones to talk privately with him uh, or in individual interview with him out here on the uh, parking lot of the courthouse right after that decision and let's listen to what he says about his future yeah, you know it's just regular regular really cool you know they they set you up to fall but we did it you're 26 years old yes sir you got a long life ahead of yourself what, what do you think your plans are i'm gonna play football <laughs> i'm gonna play football <laughs> Well, we can simply tell you that when the verdict was read by the visiting judge, the entire right side of the gallery in the courtroom just erupted. That was all of his family members. We can simply tell you that earlier in the trial, the VO that we'll look at the video right now, earlier in the trial today, three of his friends were called to the witness stand. One was his roommate, and his roommate, Chris Sanders, literally said, I was not in the house when that alleged sexual assault occurred. The victim told the jury yesterday that when she walked into the house, even though she was intoxicated, she saw him sitting on the couch. And then two other friends of Sean Oakman testified that she was not intoxicated. In closing arguments today, uh, Sean Oakman's defense attorney, um, Jesse Freud, said simply, the prosecution has not proven their case and she put six names on the board two of them were friends of the victim one was a nurse who examined the victim and uh, again another one was a police officer and then one of sean oakman's friends and all of them she said had said the girl was not intoxicated even her friends had testified that i talked to that defense attorney out here on the parking lot right after the decision and she said simply we did not believe the victim's testimony was credible now i have reached out to the district attorney uh, barry johnson and i've not uh, been able to get in touch with him yet and i have also sent a message to robert moody one of the assistant district attorneys who tried this case will hopefully have their reaction or statement from them later on this evening reporting live at the mcclennan county courthouse john carroll kwtx news 10.